Hi, Tina. So good to see you. Hi, Jennifer. I'm really glad that you're here. I have a question for you. I am prone to blemished skin, and I want to know that I'm doing everything that I can to manage them. I totally understand. Breakouts are really frustrating. There's something that you thought you would leave behind in high school, but so not the case. Um, in order to understand, though, how to treat your skin, it really helps to understand what's going on with your skin. And basically, blemishes are caused by an increase in oil production, oftentimes triggered by a hormonal fluctuation. And we all have a natural flora or bacteria on our skin, and normally it doesn't pose a problem. But the excessive oil and clogged pores creates the ideal environment for this bacteria to get out of control. Mm -hmm. And as if that weren't enough, there are other <laughs> factors that you should consider. Anything from diet, allergies, um, food sensitivities, stress, uh, that can play a role and you want to examine those because oftentimes what you see on your skin is just representing something going on inside you. That makes perfect sense. I should say though, if you're being seen by a doctor um, for any skin issues, you'll want to consult with them before making any changes to your regimen. Okay. So now that we've talked about what's going on with your skin, let's talk a little bit about what sort of ingredients you should shop for. And you really wanna look for products that have natural ingredients like salicylic acid, tea tree, totorol, sulfur, alpha hydroxy acids, and retinol. These active ingredients will help you balance the skin flora. Mm -hmm. It'll help exfoliate to unclog your pores, and it will also promote a healthy inflammatory response. Okay, Tina, so let's talk about your daily regimen. You're gonna start with a thorough deep cleanse with a purifying cleanser, mm -hmm. and then you're going to apply the serum that I love. It's the My Shell Clear Skin Serum. And so you're just gonna to wanna to take a couple pumps and apply it evenly to your neck and face. And in general, you wanna apply your serums before your moisturizers because they're thinner, they can easily penetrate the skin, and they generally have a higher concentration of active ingredients. This feels really nice. So you've applied your serum. Next you're going to put on your moisturizer. And I really like this one because it's a combination product that has some of the active ingredients, again, that we mentioned. It's the oil-free grapefruit cream. And again, you're just gonna put a couple pumps. And this moisturizer is great because it's oil-free, so mm -hmm. safe for a problematic skin to use to get the hydration without clogging your pores. Oh, it smells so good. So finally, you want to apply your sunscreen, which is a, an important part of any good daytime regimen. And this is a really great one. It's non-comedogenic and it's mineral, and you just want to make sure you use a generous amount mm -hmm. so that you can cover entirely your neck and face. There you go, cheeks and your forehead. Mm, this feels good too, very light. So Tina, you now have some great topical solutions that you can use to help control your breakouts. Mm -hmm. I just wanna remind you to be consistent with your product usage even after your skin starts to clear up. You're just gonna be, wanna be really diligent with that. And another thing you wanna consider is to focus on a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Keeping your immune system strong is gonna really help keep your skin healthy. So limit the sugars and refined carbs, get more vegetables and fruit into your diet. And I can't stress how important it is to keep your stress under control because it's just gonna start the whole cycle and get that blemish ball rolling. Um, so pick up a yoga mat, chill out with your eye pillow, mm -hmm. get some rest. Awesome, go take a nap now. <laughs> Perfect, you've got it.